I'm excited today because today we're going to draw a shark. So stay tuned for how to draw a shark. Hi, I'm Bill Flowers and today we're going to draw a shark and I'm hoping that this fearsome, awesome looking critter with those sharp teeth that only a mother could love, I am hoping to convert a few people here to let them see the beauty of this gorgeous animal. You see it has beautiful shapes and forms but anyway let's get in and start drawing this wonderful animal. So the nose is going to be about here, the tail is going to be about here. So it's coming in to about here, like we're looking about well, a bit more than a quarter, almost a third here. So from here to here is going to be the body. And we want to get this body shape right. We're going to do like a curved line like this. It's not much of a curve, it's almost straight, but it's a slight curve to it. See that? Now, sort of see where halfway is? Probably about here. We're going to do a bit of a curve like this. This is going to go down quite severely there. And now it's going to go straight. See that? It's a little bit of a curve, but then it goes straight. Get almost like a skinny letter U laying on its side there. A nice curved, I was going to say bracket, but it's more of a, just a slight curve there little line there, like a capital letter L here, but I'm going to extend that out to there a bit. little line down there, and we're going to continue this line to there, and underneath here, straight line, and another curved line to there. See, I do a curve there, but then I'm going to curve it that way, like that. See there? Some tricky curves. So drawing these guys for beginners, you've got to get your mind around doing some curves here. Let's go with the dorsal fin. So, a bit of a, see that, a little bit of a curve there. Then up. Round it off there. Down. And then, tiny curve there. And a tiny one there, so I went that way and then that way. That's the dorsal fin. Now with the grey nurse, the next dorsal fin is going to be here. Same thing, a little curve there. Go up, almost but not quite as big as this one. And down. And there. So that's one of the unusual features of these sharks is that this fin is almost the same size as that fin. Uh, whereas normally a shark would be much smaller. So it's one of the features of this particular shark. Now, doing the fins underneath. Right here, probably more towards the tail than this one, is another bottom fin that goes like this. So I've got a bit of a line there, another one there. Now here comes a curve. See the curve? And another curve that way. Now, this gap here, imagine that's transferred down here. This is where the next fin's going to be. And this one here is two fins together, but we're only seeing one side. So, same as there, there, there. A little curve that way, and a little curve that way. So you can get used to doing a curve one way and a curve the other way. You'll have this really sorted. Now, the pectoral fin, the one that's uh, they jut out the front here, we're going to have to have room for the gills and that. It's going to be about here. So here we go. Little line, see it's a slight curve there. And then round it off here. Another slight curve going like that. Another bit of a curve there and there. Oh, that's looking cool. We're going to put in five gills here. It's just going to be slight curve. I'm going to curve them with the shape of the body. So one, two, three, four, five. There's our gills. I'm going to put an eye in about here. 
a really tiny little circle with a dot in the center. You need to do, imagine getting a letter S and just pulling it out a bit like that. And do that little shape there. Now, a bit of a curve like that and then upwards again. And at the bottom here, we're going to do, I'll get a scrap piece of paper. We're going to do this sort of zigzaggy thing coming out like that. And make it come out a bit like that. Now, so we'll go the best to color this in or shade it in. And they tend to be very dark on the top here and their bellies tend to be very light coloured the dark on top of that fin there a little bit on there so when you shade hold your pencil like that because what happens I'll give you an example if you're holding it like this okay you're only getting that little bit so if I do a line like that you're only getting that little bit on the paper. If you hold it like that, what's happening is you're getting an angle like that and you're actually getting a bigger bit. So you sort of see the lines I do with that and see the lines I do with that, see the different lines. So you just hold your pencil like that and we're going to be doing it very very gentle like that. So I only just touch it. I think I'm using a HB pencil today. 2B pencils are really good and so are 4B pencils but you have to press very lightly. So I want to, and I might just mark this out very gentle, I want to do a line like that which comes down over there, get a bit of white tummy here, maybe a bit there. So here I go, very very gentle. So this is the first shading I do, which is a really light shade. And the dorsal fin, of course. So I'm not being particularly careful. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is just a little gentle shade underneath like that. Barely even touching it with my pencil. Now I'm going to go over here again, this time just the same, but because I'm doing it a second time, it should get quite twice as dark. See, whereas before I did it like that, this time I'm doing it on a slightly different angle. Now you might want to hold your pencil like this and just do gently for the edges when your pencil's on the side it's a bit hard to get right into the edges so here I am going to the edges I'm doing this quite bold here but then as I go that way I do it a bit lighter see that so this is meant to be a beginner's guide to drawing but sort of almost becoming intermediate because of the shading so to go from doing simple shapes to shading is probably the next step. That's why it's going from beginner to intermediate. I can see it's looking all right now. It's amazing what a little bit of shade does, eh? And like I say in a lot of my videos, the line underneath, if you thicken that line underneath, it gives the animal a bit of weight. And there, you see that? Just put a little bit of shade in there to make that fin come forward a bit. What you can do if you want to be a bit clever is to put a little bit of shade in each one of these gills, but you don't want to overdo it. And I might just add a few little textures here, like a few little dots here and there. When these guys are really young, they actually have spots. Sometimes they're called sand tiger sharks. There is our beginner's guide 
to the Grey Nurse Shark. I think I'd like to do an advanced one next. So that's how to draw a shark. Now I'm probably going to have to draw a few more how to draw shark videos, different species, maybe at different levels. If you've enjoyed this video, why don't you check out some of the other videos I've made, like how to draw spiders, how to draw snakes, how to draw dinosaurs. All sorts of uh, animals are out there that are just awesome and I want to draw them. So maybe subscribe, check out my videos, and I'll see you later.